Hi everybody, welcome to EcoDriver. My name is Helmut. Today we do a, a test of a plug-in hybrid and plug-in hybrid means uh, we do two tests. The first one is uh, an electric range test and the second one is uh, the efficiency test with the empty battery. Which car do we have? Yes, it's the Volvo XC40 T4 Recharge. Uh, this car has the three-cylinder 1.5 liter auto engine, 95 kilowatts. So the T4 is the weaker one of the two. Volvo has two plug-in hybrid, the T4 and the T5. This is the T4, uh, 129 horsepower, uh, but we don't need the engine for this test. The electric motor delivers 60 kilowatts or 82 horsepower. The unladen weight is 1,812 kilograms, approximately 4,000 pounds. The WLTB range, electric range, is 45 kilometers. Hmm, yeah, we'll see whether we beat that or reach that in the first place. And the capacity of the traction battery gross is 10.7 kilowatt hours. I have set the setting to the drive mode to pure which means I'm driving in purely electric mode. I just noted that the, the AC was set on 23.5 degrees. I just picked up the car from the dealership, so I, I didn't notice. And the first couple of meters, uh, the electric heat, uh, the, 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 the fossil heater was on. So we had uh, 0.5 liters per 100 kilometers of uh, uh, fuel consumption. I've reset it now and set the the AC to the lowest temperature, which I normally do. At the bottom right you see the electric range. It says 45 right now. We do a, a loop, which is roughly around 15-16 uh, kilometers. I will, I will talk to you in between and see, uh, and maybe there is something interesting to tell you. Uh, the cameras will be on all the time to show that I don't need, or you don't need to drive extra slow to be efficient or to be a hindrance on the road. And also to show how am I driving to achieve the range that I will have achieved at the end.
So at the end of the first lap, after 16.3 kilometers, we see we have 30 kilometers left, which at the end would be over 45 kilometers. And that, I guess that would be a good result. One thing with plug-in hybrids, and also with uh, some weak uh, uh, electric vehicles, the, we have a relatively small, weak electric motor. And the battery is quite small, so the regenerative capacity of the small electric motor and the charging capacity of the battery is limited. That means if you brake too harshly, too strongly, you cannot regen all the uh, energy back to the battery. Because it, you just brake harder than what the, the electric motor can deliver. Uh, with the Volvos you see on you see the power meter that goes up and down where it says ready. And when it goes down it charges the battery. And on the on the bottom of this gauge there are four orange uh, so, uh, what is called a, a scale, the orange part of the scale. If the pointer goes into this section, that means the friction brakes are used. You cannot, uh, you're braking harder than the electric motor and the battery uh, are able to deliver. And if you want to drive efficiently, try to avoid braking that hard. That means look ahead, read the road, start braking earlier, but not that hard. Uh, just keep the vehicle coast or roll. This car doesn't coast, so if you lift your foot off the accelerator, the, it just regens a little bit. Um, but uh, that means you don't brake hard, and uh, that helps you with uh, saving energy with, uh, with the range. Well, we have now over 34 kilometers and 15 kilometers range left. That means that we should be able to reach close to 50 kilometers in pure electric mode. Well, that's not too bad, I'd say. So we see here now the, the electric range shows zero. So we, or I expect the petrol engine to kick in any moment. 49.2 kilometers, well that's not too bad. Um, I'm not sure whether we make the 50. And yes, here we are, here it is, 49.8 kilometers and the and petrol engine kicked in, that's almost 10% above WLTB. So better than WLTB, um, that's basically my the, the normal uh, result that I re that I get, be it with uh, combustion engines, cars with combustion engines, be it with electric vehicles, between 10 and 20 percent better than WLTP. That's always possible. And you you probably have seen it's not the eco driver who's the obstacle on the road. Uh, there's so many slow drivers, and slow doesn't mean efficient. Um, the purpose of this channel is to show that how to drive efficiently and also to show that uh, if you drive efficiently you can't be slow because slow driving isn't efficient. Don't forget uh, there's a second video with this car, the uh, consumption video on the EcoDriver loop with empty battery. I put the link up here and I also put the link up here of my video with my five tips of how to drive plug-in hybrids more efficiently. That's it for the XC40 plug-in hybrid. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.